Campy, and we're up here on top of our raid farm on the spawning platform. And if I can hit the right button, we'll get to work. So, um, so let's see if we can make progress on this thing. So last time we built this spawning platform, we have this trench that they're going to be flushed into. Now we build just a row of glass all along the edge of this thing. And actually, this back edge has two blocks. Let's just add them now. Just like this. So we've got that going on. And now what we want is to add a, uh, a too high wall around the whole thing here. Um, I'm a little, I'm not sure if I've got this right. I think this goes all the way out here and then we'll fill that gap in when we're done. Um, or we'll fill it in right now. But I think this wall has to go out to here. I'm pretty sure it does. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll obviously check that. But anyway, the wall definitely goes out to, uh, I think, just out to here for now. Yeah, so I did cut that. I just brought this... Uh, wall across straight across from here w once they're down there that too high ceiling is going to be fine so anyway that's uh that's that's it the wall is done i think that's good um and so now we just need to make sure that this spawning platform is um is lit up so only our only the mobs that we want to spawn will spawn and I think that will do it because we're going to have some lava up here that I believe will light these blocks up. If not, we'll take care of that. Um, we'll take care of that. But um, next challenge is to put down some trap doors. So we're going to put trap doors all along uh, this row. Um, not signs, trap doors. <laughs> And these need to open up like that, so you have to place them this direction. And so now, now we're going to rig up the uh, tripwire hook. So we need a solid block there to transmit a redstone signal, and the rest of this could be glass. So we put a glass block underneath that, and then two glass blocks here. So redstone signal. Oh, we need some string. I don't remember getting string. Oh, yes, I got it. So we just need to uh, do this and just look for the hitbox of your string, and that will help you place it. When we place this one, that trip wire should be engaged. So, yep, it is. So there's that. Um, Okay, so now we just extend this wall out. Um, first, let's open these up so we can see where we're placing. But I think what we want to do is just extend this. Not like that. Underneath there. Um, in here too, and then place a uh, place this row of glass right here on top, like so.
Okay, we need some solid blocks behind these trap doors. I should have placed them before I placed this glass wall, but we can still manage. Um, don't need that one. So we just come along behind this and uh, place these. And I think we come out two beyond here and then place some redstone. We are probably going to be getting some phantoms attacking us. I know it's been over that amount of time since we've slept, and I don't have a bed. I'm tempted to kind of fly down there and sleep in one of those beds. Oh, there they are already, just as I predicted. Um, okay, guys, I need to take care of this, or that, that'll just drive me crazy. So I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're back. I uh, I went over to that village and snagged a bed and brought it back over here. Okay, everyone, we're back, and this has been quite a derp. I I need to I need to remove these blocks. I placed them too soon. Um, we need to add water behind here. So um, we're going to use the water placement trick we talked about previously I think at the skeleton farm but um, if you place a water oh it's waterlogging that it's waterlogging the trap door I hope this works you, we should be able to place one here oh yeah it did so we're good now we have a water source to use here we actually only need one bucket of water so just Placing it every other one, and that gives us water sources behind every one of these trap doors. Already had one, so now we can replace our glass. Okay, guys, I think I'm squared away now. So we need to uh, complete this circuit, obviously here. So we'll we need to bring this over in this configuration here. I wish I could have grabbed that. We need a redstone torch here, and then we need a block on top of that torch. And as soon as we put a block there, it's going to get powered, and that's what's going to power the uh, that line of redstone. It should power it all the way to the end. Now, if we hit that tripwire, I think it would open, but we'll wait on that. Um, I don't want to fail twice on the same thing, so we'll just let that ride. Now we need to place a temporary block underneath here, I think on this block right here. Um, so we're going to use a water column to uh, just come down and place that block right there. Pick up our water. Okay, unfortunately. That is wrong, and <laughs> we need to add the temporary block under this one here, so right there, and, and that is correct. And now we're going to take our slabs, and we need uh, two lines of slabs, one going this way and one going straight out that way, and that's going to be for the... Uh, for the timing, redstone timing mechanisms and delay clock. So we need to go nine in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then they need to be two wide. So nine in this direction and 10 in the other direction, I am fairly sure. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then again, two wide, I think, coming back in this direction or on this side. Need to get rid of that temporary block. And 
And so these are going to be our fade out clocks or whatever you call them. This is going to be repeaters over here set at a full maximum delay. And these are going to be uh, comparators over here. Uh, first, we need a splash of dust right here. And that's going to be triggered when the tripwire is when the tripwire is triggered it will fire off it will power that redstone dust there and all of these repeaters need to be on maximum delay so and then connect them with two dust on the end and then we'll come back And then we need a splash of dust right there. So when this repeater reaches the end, it will power this block for a moment. And that dust will fire off. And then we need our comparators to build this clock, just like this. All the comparators need to be in you know normal compare mode or whatever, not in subtract mode, which I don't even know <laughs> what the difference is there but I think that is pretty much what we need okay that's the uh, that's all the redstone I think now we have to build the mechanism that burns the uh, ravagers up so um, let's get rid of this just so it doesn't confuse us I think we come back two and then we're going to build this up by a total of four so but I think we go two back from from the edge here so and then just build this up by four and then two back on this side too And then we need to put a roof on it. Like that. That'll keep them from swimming, swimming all the way up and out of the lava. This will hold them in place and make sure they burn. The other thing we need to do is extend these out like this I think three blocks is what I saw him do and that prevents the ravengers from being able to drop down or whatever and hop up on here I think they were hopping up on here for, and this was to prevent that and so now what we need to do is place signs okay so the signs are going to go starting at this level right here. We're going to place one all along the back edge. And then up one. Yeah, this needs to be an entire row of suspended signs. So we just place them like this all the way across, trying not to fall in. One more, and now the hard, I should have, <laughs> probably should have done this row first, but we need another row right above that row. So, um, let's just get up here. So we need another row right here. So I'm just, you know, crouching to place these. So you crouch with the shift key usually. I'm using different configuration but it's probably the shift key for you and then place the sign and then hit escape or or click that button with your mouse I find it easier just to hit escape and that releases you from the uh, from the sign GUI but so 
you know, crouch, place, escape, crouch, place, escape. That's kind of the way those work, and that's it. Now, um, now we're going to place lava. And it's just going to take one bucket of lava for this whole thing. But we have to do it. We're going to place a temporary block right here. Go up and place our bucket of lava right on the middle block. And that'll be held from flowing out by these top signs. And as soon as that flows all the way across, just like that, then we're going to break the temporary blocks. And you have to be careful you don't break your signs. Just want to make sure the block is highlighted and break those blocks. And that lava is going to flow down and be held in place by the signs. Just like that. Yep, we are done up here. So now, the only thing we have left to do is finalize the uh, killing chamber arrangement and add our vex protection. So we've got to add a bunch of boats to keep the vexes from killing us because vexes will spawn occasionally, hopefully not often. We'll, we're going to have a pretty good sword. But um, let's get rid of this. Um, actually, I think we'll come, we need to come down here by one. And then we need our iron bars. I don't remember getting iron bars, but we did. <laughs> so we just add a row of bars here, and then we can stand here. Okay, guys. I'm going to try to place the, uh, the slab configuration, and I think... I think it goes right at this level, right here, against that iron bar. Yeah, right there. And now, um, we need to get up on top of it. There, made it. <laughs> so now we're going to come in here. We're going to build a ring around this whole thing, just like this. This is going to be too wide. Here. And here. Then we're going to place some, a few more gl glass. Here and here and here and end here. And then we're going to place a row of slabs under here at this level with a glass block like that. So that gives us a platform that we're going to now try to create or try to place um, some beds on. So let me get some beds made because I don't have any made and I'll be right back. So we're going to add them two on this side. And if you just aim at the corner here, you should be able to get them close. Just turn on hit boxes, F3 and B. And that way we can kind of see where the actual boat is going. I think we need to nudge this one a little closer there. It's always hard to place these. Anyway, um, they don't have to be all that precise. They just need to catch vexes. <laughs> but um, so then we need two back here, one here, and likewise one here. And again, if we could push them in a little bit. Probably better to get in the boat and drive them in. And then, same thing on the other side. Sorry, I'm going pretty slow. 
One here on this corner. And likewise on this corner, if we can get over here, like so, push it in. Now we need to uh, use trap doors and create another level. So th basically three trap doors go r right on that corner. We have to sh crouch and click these or it'll just open the trap door. <laughs> One there. Looks pretty good. Two more back here. Oh, we need an extra row of those back here, don't we? Just like we did with the slabs, so. One like this. One more like that. Okay, guys, I'm going to head over to our uh, pillager outpost and try to get a captain killed and get bad omen because I think this thing is ready to go. Okay, guys, here we are on the shores. We just took our boat over. You can see that's where our raid farm is, right here, just outside of our base. You, my friend, are the one we're looking for. Okay, the raid is triggered now. And up we go. Here we are. Now, we should see some action up there. Yep, they're spawning away. Spawning, spawning, spawning. They're starting to come down. But those are just the ones that got pushed in there by the spawning, the force of the spawning. Now the water's flowing and they're all getting pushed in. We should be chopping them as we go because that helps reduce Vex attacks. The other thing we're going to be looking for are um, mob heads. We're going to get a bunch of them from here. And that's all of them. So the water should stop any second. Now there it goes. It stopped. And you can see up in the corner again, we, we have bad omening. So we've got the bad omen. All we have to do is drop down our drop tube and our feet just land in the appropriate sub-chunk right here that triggers another raid. And so up we go. And you just keep doing this as long as you want to until you get all the emeralds that you need. There's another raid that gets triggered. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. we got to end it now, and i got to figure out how to cut about 20 minutes out of this thing. See you next time. Thanks for watching.